All right. Simplify this, and then we'll list all restrictions on the domain. Uh, let's look at simplifying this first. So on this one, uh, we have these two denominators. We got 7x and 2x. This one's good because they have an x in common. If the x's were different in the amount of x's, then we would have to be multiplying by more x's. But since that's not the case, we don't here. So we're just looking for the coefficients of x to be the same. In this case, it looks like a common denominator that we could use would be 14x, meaning that the 7x, we're going to multiply it by 2, which means I'm going to multiply the 10 by 2. That's going to give me 20 over 14x. And then I'm going to add 5 over 2x. I'm going to scale this one up by multiplying both these by 7. So 7 times 5 is 35. All over 7 times 2x would give me 14x. So we've manipulated this so that our denominators are the same. So this allows us then to have a common denominator 14x. We're going to add these. I've got 20 plus 35. Now I can combine the 20 and 35, giving me 55. All over 14x, 55 is not divisible by 7. Nope. It's not divisible by 2 either. So it looks like this is our final answer. I apologize. And then it wants us to find restrictions for the, um, the domain. So we just need to look at both of these. Uh, 7x can't equal 0. And then also 2x can't equal 0. Sorry not equal to zero. Whether I divide by seven or two, it still tells us in either case that x cannot equal zero. So that would be the domain if we wanted to write this formally. x is such that x can be any real number and x also cannot equal zero. But x doesn't equal zero looks like it would work for this 